Hey y'all, I'm Stephanie and today I am finally able to show you my I Love SF Maybe Box palette. We worked very hard on these custom colors. Let me tell you, describing a color and then having it pressed and made, it's its definitely a process. It's quite difficult. Uh, the Mimi Box offices are located in San Francisco, so I worked really close with them on creating these colors and the packaging. And this is just my ode to San Francisco because it was my last big project I did while I was living there, so I really poured my heart into this thing. So let's just go from the outside in. The outer packaging has a picture of me right outside of my old apartment in San Francisco. And fun fact, Jen took this photo. So working our way into the package. The actual palette has Soothing Sister XO Mimi Box, and the Soothing Sister was written by my good friend Pemex, who is an extremely talented artist in San Francisco. Uh, he's one of the first people I really started hanging out with when I moved back to San Francisco, and I've just known him for years. He's a great guy, so it's just really fitting that he would write this for me. I'm very happy to say that all these colors are made in the USA. They are paraben-free and cruelty-free, and I'm gonna show you how they wear by creating this eye look that I am wearing today. I got a lot of comments in my last video, my cruise vlog, on the eye look that I was wearing, I think pretty much every single day, and I was wearing my own palette. So for those of y'all who were interested in the tutorial, we're getting into it right now. First, I'm taking a little bit of Valencia, which is named after the street I lived off of in San Francisco. This is a medium pinkish brown matte color, and taking a bit of this on a regular eyeshadow brush, I'm just gonna sweep this all over the lid. I go a bit beyond the crease of my eye, and the shape I create can really change from day to day for me. Then I sweep a little bit underneath the lower lash line. I really like the heavy lower lash line look, so I can be heavy handed here, but I guarantee it looks better once mascara is applied. Then taking a fluffy blending brush, I blend the edges out a bit, but I'm not too crazy precise here because we're gonna blend it more in a bit. Next, I grab Sutro, which is a light dusty rose brown matte shade. This is named after one of my favorite places in San Francisco, which is Sutro Baths. I take a bit of this on the same blending brush and blend the outer edges of Valencia. This shade is a great base color as well. I've worn it just on its own, swept over my entire eyelids, and it's also a great complementary shade if you're doing a simple cat eye look. I love it. On days when I want to be fully matte, I could leave it just how it is right here, but on days when I want to make it a little bit darker, I take Candy Rain, which is a deeper rose shimmer, and this is named after one of my favorite bi-monthly events in San Francisco. I take that with a regular eyeshadow brush once again and layer it on top of Valencia, and you could add a lot all over or just a little bit in places. Today, I'm adding it all around the top and bottom lash line. Finally, we have Bay Area. This one's for all my bays in the bay. This is a pink shimmer with iridescent glitter. With a pencil brush, I apply this to the inner eye, and I usually like to add a light color with glitter on my inner eye. I just think it adds a little something something. I also like this color as a cheek highlight, and you could use it as a brow highlight. Anywhere you want some glitter as a highlight, this is your color. To complete this look, I just have a couple more products. I've been really into this Mark by Marc Jacobs gel liner in Jazzberry in my waterline. It just adds a little mysteriousness, I think, and it's really long lasting. Of course, you can't forget the mascara. I use my Lancome Seals Booster XL and then Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on top. And there we have the completed look. I think that this is just such a versatile eye look. I've worn it so much day and night. I just think these colors can look good on so many different skin tones for many different looks and the shadows are just a breeze to apply. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I really tried creating a palette that would be appealing to those seasoned to the makeup game, but also those who are just starting off. So if you are inclined to do so, please head over to the Mimi Box website and grab a palette for yourself or loved one. Of course, it'll be linked down below. Please hashtag I love SF so I can know that you received the palette and I can see all the awesome looks that you will create with this. I am just, I'm so excited to see all of you wearing my colors. It's, it's gonna be awesome. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I love y'all and I'll see you real soon. Bye!